John RB's Toy Box. We got some toy reviews to go through from Ghostbusters. Make sure you stay tuned. Today on RB's Toy Box, <laughs> we're going to take a look at some Ghostbusters stuff. Now, there are very few franchises, if you will, that have had the after-sales success that Ghostbusters has. Let's face it, I mean, beyond the movies and their long-standing, except for, you know, maybe a little stint there where they tried to revive it with, you know, those ladies that made one. I haven't even seen that movie. If you have, you know, maybe say something there in the comments, whether you liked it, hated it, you know, just looking at the reviews, maybe not want to watch it. But when it comes to Ghostbusters and a collection standpoint, there's a lot of things that are available for us to relive the memories, right? So beyond the DVDs, beyond the, you know, just the, the general memory, there, there's some merchandising. And they've gotten, like a lot of other manufacturers, they've gotten clever to the fact that the people that are buying these are not kids. And as a result, they got to up their game a little bit. So today on RB's Toy Box, we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at, you know, some of the things that I've collected, not all of them, but some of the ones that are recent and show you kind of where they've upped their game when it comes to collectors and grabbing up some of this cool merchandise. So stay tuned. You know, if you're new to RB's Toy Box, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. But let me give you a little walkthrough of what RB's Toy Box is about with my little intro, and then we'll jump right into it. Check it out. Into the magic on my fun built stage. RB's Toy Box is great for kids of any age. From Star Trek to A Team and Retro Toys too. Come join on my journey making videos just for you. Alright, so here we go. I hope you liked my little intro there. Um, here is uh, a set that we picked up here not too long ago. Now, this thing's kind of cool. And this was at Walmart, and it was on the clearance aisle, believe it or not. And this kit, you can still pick up. They've got them on the Internet a couple different places. Um, they range anywhere from price from $16.99 on up to in the $50 range I've spotted on Etsy and a couple on eBay. But... They are a, a fairly recent release. They had this little sticker on the bottom where you can get a little Fandango card for a rental. But honestly, it's almost useless because a rental's got to be like for $1.99 or, or something. And you, <laughs> it won't let you watch any recent releases. So you literally got to go back and watch something that's 20 years old for it to even work. But, you know, it was a little something, something. But what was cool, my wife called me and she's like, hey, you know, they've got these things that are out there. And it's really kind of cool because it comes with a hat, uh, which is like this one. And actually, it's a, it's a good hat, too. I mean, it's this is a fairly decent quality hat. I mean, I was really impressed. The hat by itself was worth the purchase price. It also comes with a blanket. The blanket's not bad. It's one of them fleece blankets that, you know, you really got to be super cold to use because it kind of makes your skin crawl. But it's kind of the thing that they do with printed blankets these days. It also comes with one of these little floating LED lights. And that one's actually kind of bright. It's not too bad. It does work off of a battery or you can put the little 5-volt plug in the back of it. And then it has a little patch set down in the bottom of it. And it even has a popcorn bucket. Kind of cheap plastic, but you know... Like I said, for these things ranging from $16.99 and up, I don't know that I would pay $50 or $60 bucks for one of these. But if you bought these individually, like I said, you can probably find this hat probably going to run you in the $15 to $24 range. That by itself. That light's probably going to be another $15 or $20. The blanket's going to be another $12 to $15. You know, and then the, the stickers slash, you know, um, patches that, you know, it's not a bad deal if you can find one of these that's still out there. So be sure to look for this one right here. It's a um, Ghostbusters bundle and it comes with everything that you see there on the back. And if that's cool to you, make sure you're on the lookout for that. 
Now, recently with the movie, obviously Frozen coming out, Frozen Empire, uh, different movie theaters were doing the giveaways. Well, they weren't giveaways. You had to buy them. But the giveaways for these different uh, popcorn decanters. This one's kind of cool because it has the lights in the bottom of it. I can't remember whether this one I pulled the little tab out of it or not. Let me see. Nope. So, let's see here. Let me pop the tab out of that. da 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 da, -da. Okay. So, I mean, it's got a decent glow to it. But this was, um, if I remember correctly, these were like $24. Ooh. And, you know, they're, if you're going to put something on your shelf, this is one of those that you want to put. This is removable. Pops up out of there, and then the doors close, just like that. And from a detail standpoint, if you compare this in a side-by-side -side environment, this is from the AMC, by the way. It's got a little thing on the bottom of there. Now... I drove all the way out to Tampa, Florida and bought a couple of these because when they got released, all of the local theaters right around here were just out in five minutes flat. And the one over in Tampa had some, so we jumped in the truck and drove right out there and grabbed a couple. And they were real cool about it. You know, we, uh, we got there early so we could get one and then we came back later. Uh, to peek at the movie, so it was uh, it was actually kind of cool. So we got we picked these up, and then um, we also ran by a different theater, and they had these instead. And the Cinemark has like the red popcorn bucket in the middle of it, uh, but this is the one that was at. I can't remember which one this was at. Does it say on here somewhere? Let's see here. Um... Ghostbusters, a Frozen Empire, only in theaters. Nope, it doesn't say it. I'll try to remember and put it down the link below, but these are also going out there. I don't know that these are going to go as fast in price raising up as these are. Um, I still think you can get these on the website, and again, I'll look for the link on that. These you can still get on the website, but they're like every other day it's, you know, out of stock, coming soon, out of stock, coming soon. Regal also released one that is uh, on its way. Uh, I had to be, get on a waiting list for one of those. And it's, you know, from some of the reviews I've seen online, it's a little taller, it's a little wonkier. Uh, not near the quality as this one seems to be in comparison to the ones that are through Ruby's. Um, even the ones that have the little release levers on them. And they are also selling restickering kits for these. There's some uh, enterprising eBay folks out there uh, that are doing something like that. So those are kind of cool. Just wanted to show those to you. And then this one just came out. I mean, literally a couple of weeks ago, even if it was just like seven days ago. This one is and was at GameStop. And it is a 1 18th scale. It, this is not a die cast version. This is a plastic version. But it is very, very well detailed. And that's kind of what I wanted to also mention as part of this video. Is that when you look at some of the detail related information. And I'm going to do a much more detailed review on this in another video here in the next day or two. Where I'm going to do a side by side comparison with the Playmobil and this one and i think you're going to find it incredibly interesting when you put those side by side by side but when you look at what they've got here for this one and the detail orientation as well as even this and even on this and some of the other stuff that you know you've probably seen in the walkthrough it's it looks really good i mean you got knobs that are turning You've got the, the, the uh, weathering already done. You know, it's, it doesn't just look like a sticker that they slapped on the side of it like we've seen some other stuff do. And even with Playmobil, you know, they've gone a little bit farther and beyond and put some detail into their sets. And that's, that's a hat tip to our generation uh, boys and girls that are out there that are looking at me and thinking, you're really old, mister. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that old. But this is a hat tip to us that we like to buy stuff that, you know, 
looks the part, right? And if it doesn't, at least it's got uh, the the right proportions or close to it, or it's got some definite, you know, that take a little time. Like this is etched in. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. That's etched in, that's not a sticker. And that little bit of detail type stuff is the stuff that we, we really like as collectors. When we go out there, if we're gonna pay top dollar for something, we want it to be worth something, right? tired and sick, well not sick and tired, just tired, of some of these uh, toy manufacturers out there that just pushing junk out because it's got a Ghostbusters label on it or a Star Trek label on it or, you know, Battlestar Galactica label on it or something and it's junk. I mean, just junk. I mean, why bother? I mean, a great example would be this Battlestar Galactica cup that I picked up. It's just a sticker on the side you know it's like oh i got a battlestar galactica it's it's junk i mean it's literally something you pick up at the dollar tree and slap two stickers on it honestly and that's the kind of stuff that i'm glad i picked that thing up dirt cheap but because it has the licensing on it they want to charge more in more in most cases so that's where again the hat tip for today is you know those manufacturers out there that are taking the time to produce some decent stuff for us to purchase collect put on our shelves have some memorabilia we appreciate that right now make sure you stay tuned to rb's toy box i know this wasn't an incredibly long video but i just wanted to showcase some of the stuff that is recent that you might want to run out there and get like this one right here before they get all snatched up they are already jumping up on price online because there was just a handful of these that seemed like they put out um because i mean um gamestop sold out of these fat i mean in all seven gamestops that are within two hours drive of me they were gone in minutes i just happened to grab the last one uh at one in lakeland florida so uh, make sure that you check out the review on this one coming up and the side-by-side -side comparison with all the cool detail stuff that goes along with this. Uh, and, of course, keep your eye out yourself for the Ecto-1 1.8 scale. Uh, this is a, a Hasbro. Uh, I, I think it's a re-release from the 2018, but there are some slight differences to it uh, that they did on it. So make sure you check that out. We'll see you soon here on RV's Toy Box for my collecting friends. Stay collecting and hey! <laughs>